What's up guys? My name is Marcus Huskins. Thank you for joining me. So today we're going to be talking about using pipeline with a quantum and a quantum 48 aggregated setup. So I've got an aggregate device set up for a quantum and a quantum 4848. If you're looking for detailed information on this, you can find a link in the description below where I've got a video covering how to do this in detail for both Mac and PC. That being said, this is something that I've already set up. So if we open up our IO setup, you'll notice that we have all of the inputs and outputs that are available in this aggregate device. So my inputs, I've gone ahead and named WA2A, WA76, and EQP-WA. In my outputs, I've done the same. Another benefit here is I can give them a color so they stand out a little bit. Now the idea here is that this gear is always gonna be set up. So I wanna name this in my IO setup and once I'm happy with that, I could actually export this I.O. setup into a new configuration. So I've already gone ahead and done this. We'll skip this step, but it's worth noting that that's something that you can do. Uh, next up, I want to be able to just activate pipeline on these channels that I need. I've got an instance brought up here, and if we wanted to, we could simply choose from the drop-down menu, and I would be accessing the WA2A here. But I've also set up some presets because I don't really want to have to do this every time. So if we head over to the effects section, you'll notice that under pipeline mono, I've got three presets that are set up and named. So for the kick, we're going to be going with the WA76. For the bass, we're going to go with the WA2A. And for the mandolin, we're going to go with the EQP-WA. So let's just start dragging these presets over directly into the channel. Uh, we'll do the bass next, which is a WA2A and we will do the WA76 on our kick channel. So I've just dragged and dropped these in place, and as you can see now, the routing is all done. Let's go ahead and play. So there's our kick track. Pretty happy with that, but if we want to make any adjustments, we would now be doing this in the hardware domain. Okay, so that works for me. Let's hop over to our base. We'll solo this out. I'm being quite aggressive with that one. And last but not least, we can take a look at our mandolin. In that case, we're using an EQP-WA. So we will solo this out. In context. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to work with pipeline and your hardware. Now, another thing is once you have things set up, if you want to be able to recall that, we actually have a couple different ways in which we can recall our presets. So one real easy way would be that we could add some notes and I could make specific notes like the amount of cut or boost that I added at a certain frequency. I find that the notes are useful if you have some basic settings, like maybe 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock on a compressor. But if you have stuff that's a little bit more complicated, we actually have another option, which is a little easier to work with we can choose the option to import uh, actual image. So in this case, I've taken three images on my phone camera. I brought them over to my computer. Now I can actually embed this image directly within pipeline. So now if I was to click this, I could see the actual settings exactly as they were displayed on my hardware. So this is something that I might do for the WA2A as well. We can click this option over here to show image, choose these three dots. Let's choose our WA2A, we'll click open, yes. And then if I click this image, you'll see the exact settings that I had on my WA2A. And last but not least, let's move over to our WA76. And the same thing again. We're going to click this icon, show image, and I can choose the image and load it. And now each of these presets has been recalled directly within pipeline. So we don't have to make notes. We can recall that image. And then if I wanted to change my hardware setup and I needed to recall this mix later, that's something that I could do really easily just by opening up the plugin, clicking this image, and then being able to dial in the same settings. 
So that's how I'm using Pipeline with hardware configurations at different studio setups. It's pretty simple. Once you have it set up the way you like it, naming things in your audio I.O. setup, you can export a configuration. And at that point, you just save your presets. And then the minute you drag them in, they will automatically recall. So that's using Pipeline XT in Studio One 4.5. I hope you got something from this video and we'll see you again soon.